Hi, welcome to your first science festival. This quick video will show you how to lead the dancing raisins experiment at your station. Each of these steps and all of the instructions are also laid out for you in the facilitator's guide. First, take a look at the materials and what your station will look like before each experiment begins. You should have all these materials ready for each adult and student pair who come to your station. When a student and family member come to your station, welcome them by saying something like, Hi, welcome to Dancing Raisins. Then, ask the adult and student participant a couple of quick questions before you begin. What do you think will happen when we mix everything on this table? Will anything dissolve? Explode? Change color? Melt? Try to wait for at least one answer, even if it is a wild guess. Okay, now you're ready to move on to the actual experiment. Begin by asking the student to measure and pour one and a half cups of water into the plastic bottle. Next, ask the adult to add one heaping teaspoon of baking soda into the bottle. Then ask the student to stir until the baking soda is dissolved in the water. Ask the student to add five raisins to the mixture in the bottle. Finally, ask the adult to slowly add one cup of vinegar into the plastic bottle. Suggest that the adult and student watch what happens. Ask the adult and student what they notice happening. Let's take a moment and read aloud the science behind the experiment. In the plastic bottle, the baking soda and vinegar react to make a gas, carbon dioxide. As the gas forms, it clings to the raisins in the bottle. Once enough gas sticks to a raisin, it will begin to rise to the surface. When it reaches the surface, the gas escapes into the air and the raisin sinks. The raisin will repeat this process for several hours or until the raisin gets soggy and too heavy to rise to the surface. You're probably wondering how this applies in the real world. Chemical reactions happen all around us. When plants use light to make food and oxygen, yeast makes your bread rise, your parents light a match, or you use soap to clean the dirt from your hands, you're seeing chemistry in action. 